before, before the fight, you, you spoke on wanting to get the knockout. Yeah. Uh, you were very confident. You were telling reporters yeah. to bet on it. Unfortunately, you weren't able to get the knockout. You a little bit disappointed? Uh, hell no. I, I heard the crowd every round. They was having fun in there just as much as I was having fun. And I always say, if I don't get the knockout, it's going to be a hell of a performance. And I ain't lie, I ain't lie about that. Uh, Were well, you rank, currently ranked number three in the WBO? He was ranked number four. Uh, what's next? Is a title shot in, in your next? You only, you only got, you know, very little fights, man. Yeah, for sure. Title shot is definitely on his way. Uh, I'm thinking probably about early next year sometime, but who knows? We'll see. Sean, talk about uh, all his antics in there, the, some of the mostly illegal stuff they was doing there. How, how, how were you able to deal with all that? Um, honestly, all my experience I got going overseas. Like, I fought guys in Russia, Armenia, so many different countries, and they do dirty stuff, and the refs don't say nothing to them, but they say everything to me. So, I was already groomed for stuff like that. I love fights like that, and shit, we can do it again. Thank you, Thank you. Sir. doing his fight, man. I can't think about what the ref going to do when he's going to take a point or not. And honestly, I ain't need him to take a point. I knew I was going to win regardless. And if he would have took a point, I knew he was going to keep doing the same thing. The only thing I had to do is stay there, stay composed, stay focused, and just have fun with him. How prepared were you for that type of a fight, Keyshawn? And were you expecting those rough tactics at that kind of level of rough house? Oh, yeah, for sure. I was calling him a firecracker all week. And that's basically what I meant. Like, he's a rough type of guy, real physical type of guy. I expected that. I said he was going to be more physical than Pedraza. Even though they were both coming with pressure, he was definitely more physical, punch harder. And um, I was definitely ready for that, for sure. What'd you make of him carrying, literally carrying from, from the legs and all that? Oh, no. uh, shit, I did it to him like the first or second round or something like that. So it, we were just doing a lot, of, a lot of funny tactics in there, just trying to get under each other's skin, trying to like, you know, do things to like knock up our, knock up our will. And um, we was both tough in there, both our wheels definitely didn't get broke. But um, the best man won tonight. Keyshawn, Keyshawn, Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. So a few hours ago, you know, obviously you just had this fight, it's a win, but all the fans are looking forward to what's next for Keyshawn Davis, right? Floyd Schofield soon, Sr. was talking online, he brought your Tell name Floyd up. Tell Floyd Schofield get off his son page, but go ahead. There you go, there's the comment. What was your, what was your message to Floyd Schofield Sr.? Every time I fight, it's, it's inevitable that he's gonna make a post about me right before I fight. This is like his third time doing that. But I would love to fight his son. I just don't like that his father is doing all the talking. It, I don't know if his father want to fight or if his son want to fight. You know what I'm saying? So, but I would love to fight Floyd Schofield for sure. It's a it's, it's a fan favorite fight. And, um, if we can make it happen, then we can we gonna make it happen. You hey, look, hey, look, to fight for a title, yep. There's four champions, obviously. They're tied up. What are your plans for the rest of the year? Stay active, and then who would you want to target in terms of the champions? Um, I think I'm ranked highest in the WBO right now. Honestly, I don't really know. So that's but, well, I know Baranchik mentioned my name. And he's a champion. He's the only champion that mentioned my name. So definitely talking to Baranchik because he mentioned my name. Hey, Keyshawn, you hit this guy with a bunch of flush shots. You know what I mean? Like you was, look like you was hitting with a damn near everything you could. Right. Like if you could rate this guy's power, like how would you rate his power? You his know. Power? Well, no, he damn sure. Oh, it's not power. I'm sorry. It's toughness. I'm sorry. He damn sure has some power. Yeah. But uh, his toughness, toughness was on, was on a dial. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That one shot where I, I know I heard him, Man. and I started getting on him. The nigga recovered in the same round. I was like, oh damn, he's Bro. in shape. Man. He, he's, he's definitely <laughs> he not just crazy. going out crazy. So I tried to catch him with another big shot like that, but he was game, man. He was tough. And I just, I was just happy that I got to put on a, a fun performance, man. The fans definitely loved it. I feel like everybody loved it, and I'm, I'm happy I was got, I was able to do that. Sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Top dog, that's Tank Davis. Keyshawn, just real quick. Ice Matt the start, guys. 